Hello everyone, welcome to another Yukon PAS construction video update. My name is Lou Gett. Today we're on the STEM dorm. The last time we were out here was uh, towards the end of February. Today is June 2nd and we're going to take you through the uh, updates uh, since that time. So we're standing at the southeast corner towards the Sherman track and field and this is the location where we took some previous videos. Last time we were here they were working on the curtain wall and the metal panels had just started so uh, at today's update almost the whole exterior is completed all the metal panels all the brickwork is done curtain wall is completed you know I believe the only work is the uh, entrance over here to the east side the landscaping is done the retaining wall is completed um, what we're looking at right here this is the subgrade for the pavers the bituminous it's a processed gravel um, underneath it and then uh, then there's the uh, bituminous and the pavers get uh, applied right onto that the stairs are complete uh, lighting site lighting is coming down uh, northeast corner uh, looking looking at the building and we're looking uh, towards the south and the there's almost there's two tiers of walks here that was the high area that we were just we our previous video came on these are a set of stairs that go down uh, towards the uh, alumni center and uh, this actually this is the first time we're really getting the chance to take a look at this lower tier uh, walk which was just completed uh, recently this week with the landscaping uh, on the bank here so this comes in uh, in across on most of the lower tier behind the back of the bleachers that kind of ties into the sidewalk that comes down from that southeast corner there west side of the building last time all of the equipment was staged in here so this is going to be the uh, the vehicular entrance you can see it'll be a, a nice radius turnaround and it's the same installation we were just looking at except for here it's a, a concrete walk uh, and the pavers will be on either side of the walk so again the precast retaining wall and you can see actually the plantings are starting to go in the little popular on our storm drainage construction these days are what we call rain gardens which is what you're looking at in here so the uh, storm water is delivered into a, an area where we're hoping most of it will seep into the ground. If not, there's an overflow that will pick it up into the storm drainage system. So not all of the storm water will end up into the drainage system. You know, the hope is that uh, as much as possible will seep back into the ground in a natural, natural state. So that's the bottom of it right there before the stone and, uh, and the plantings are installed. Before taking some photos you can see the solar panels are completely installed connected to the uh, heating pipe system over here. The rail was installed I believe the last time we were here. So a good time to take a focus at the landscaping we were talked we talked about a little bit earlier. The wonderful island in the middle and we were talking you can see the the drivable concrete surface the pavers will be out on the blacktop over there planting the trees in the island, topsoil coming in, subgrade being cut, topsoil removed, topsoil coming back in. So the last time we were here that was the trailer park in this area over in here. Trailers are gone. So they're cutting a little bit of the subgrade over in that area there. They bring it to the subgrade and then they bring in the uh, topsoil to complete it up. The circle we were just talking about, they're planting the trees. Eventually the last thing we'll go down is the pavers on the bituminous on the side But a good time to take a look at the green roof that we were on we talked about a little bit earlier So it's actually beginning to feel fill in over a period of time. You won't see the little you know, square uh, square lines from the individual um, Crates that were where the product was brought into You know in, in a period of time and probably less than a year that'll all fill in and be one one big mat there so here is your uh, classic uh, dorm room, finished, with the painted ceilings, the radiant heat in the exterior wall, cleaned up, metal window sills painted in, nice color, similar family with the base and the vinyl plank on the flooring. So we'll take a quick walk into the men's room. They have not been final cleaned yet, but the work is is completed. You can see the tile color runs its way in through 
in through into the bathroom. All of the stalls are are installed. And the uh, the showers is a is a white tile, very similar in the same size as the quarter. Very nice and bright. The receptor is a terrazzo based uh, receptor. That's what we call uh, the pre manufactured units that sit into the shower. Very nice, light, bright. And the mirror is with some vertical lights. A little bit tip, uh, different than normally. Sometimes in the old days they had a lighting cove over the top. It's kind of a nice uh, little new feature there. The uh, integral bowls, sink bowls, a Korean type uh, top. Very nice. It's called the B wing on the sixth floor here, and I'm going to give you a shot of the typical uh, hallway that's just about finished here. So a maple is the theme of, of wood here, bumper rail we call it to protect the rails. Each room will have what they call a tack board, more or less on the hinge side. Most of those are installed. Uh, some will be installed later on. And then there's a themed alcove uh, section on on each floor, and there'll be different colors but it breaks it up a little bit. And as we talked a little bit earlier, you know, the color kind of blends in a little bit with the, uh, the tile color that you see in front of the men and women's uh, bathroom down at this section uh, here. So as we mentioned earlier, there's a couple color themes here. This is a little bit of the blue, blue section. Same construction as we saw down in here. The fan moving air in here to keep the uh, humidity level down. Pretty much the same bumper rails tack strips on the side of the door and corresponding tile at the bathrooms uh, with the uh, with the alcove sections lounge we want to come back here because this is going to be one of the more sp spectacular uh, spaces on each level and uh, here's the uh, wood ceiling is stored off to the side so these are going to be the last areas uh, finished because they're actually using them for staging area and uh, so you get a chance to look at what the uh, wood ceiling looks like before it's installed you know a wood slatted ceiling uh, we'll go inside there so we'll come back here because this is going to be a spectacular space we talked about it a little bit previously uh, with the wonderful view you know we're looking out at uh, Gamble on the first floor now uh, in the corridor I get a ch opportunity to take a look at the iZone room it's actually a clear view over to the uh, circle area uh, but this will be one of the last rooms that they finish. There's high-end finishes on the wall they don't want to take to get damaged. So we've got a nice plank flooring, porcelain tile going in there. Fellows are grounding it now. And then there's, there's four seminar rooms in each floor. And they're not finished yet. So we're on the first floor here. This would be the classic size of one of the north uh, seminar rooms. Very tall ceilings. It will be a nice space. Eight total, four on the first floor. And, and four on the ground ground level. We'll take just a quick stop in the I zone room. We've been in here before. The uh, plywood backer panels, and this, like as we just mentioned, this will be one of the last rooms to be finished. The ceiling is in up up into the top. You know, the painter is in here, and that's the glass we were just looking out on the first floor, where you can see directly across through the other glass out to the uh, circle circle area. So we are on the on. We're going to continue on the ground level here with an exposed uh, staircase uh, that goes up from the ground level to the first floor. Be very nice, uh, very nice aesthetics through here. Full glass panel up, looking out at the uh, circulation area. Finish where we started. Again, today is June second. We have a substantial complete completion date of July nineteenth for the project. Today there is two hundred uh, plus men on the project. And they are in, in target to meet that substantial completion date. So the university is very excited to be able to accept and receive this building for the uh, upcoming uh, school year. Remember to subscribe to our Yukon PAS channel. Once subscribed on the left hand side, manage subscriptions. To the right, the gearbox symbol. A check next to send me all notifications for this channel with the save. Now anytime we add a project, update a project, you will receive an automatic email notification. We thank you for your interest in our Yukon projects. Have a great day.